Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki and the back of this beautiful little head is my daughter Miss Kiyomi Lee aka Strawberry. You all know her, you have seen her and if you are new to seeing her and new to this channel, go ahead and do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, leave a comment when you're done watching this video, and let me know that you are here, that you like what you see, and let me know to continue on, basically. Um, but without further ado, let's jump right into it. We have our Blue Magic Coconut Oil Hair Grease. You know I love to grease her scap, her scalp, whatever you want to call it. I believe in grease. That's how I grew up. And, you know, our mothers did, you know, all this new stuff. I don't know. I love it. I'm glad that everybody is learning how to take care of our black hair and how to make it grow and retain growth and all that good stuff. I'm loving it. However, when I was young, my parents did not, or my mother, not my parents, she did not do all the extra stuff. She simply washed our hair probably only once a month. She greased our scalps and she combed our hair once a week I kind of took on that same trend with my daughter however I do wash her hair a little bit more than once a month um I tend to wash her hair at least once a week sometimes I'll end up going two weeks but never more than two weeks I do like to wash her hair but back to the basics I do love to keep the products pretty simple so I use grease every time I do her hair every time I restyle it I'll use some grease I try to like thoroughly put conditioner in it as you see me doing here i did freshly wash her hair and now i'm just rubbing the grease and the conditioner throughout her hair i just want to make sure it's look i'm not i'm not um, stingy with the conditioner at all i'm very liberal i use a good amount and i rub it throughout her whole head from the roots to the ends i just try to make sure i get it in there really really well because i won't be doing this again until next saturday or next sunday maybe next friday if i have somewhere important to go on saturday and i just want her to look extra cute then i will redo it However, I don't plan on redoing this style. Every now and then, I'll redo her hair midweek. But the style that I'm doing it in today, I am hoping and praying that it stays neatly kept for the entire week. So to start off, after we are done conditioning her hair, making sure it is thoroughly moisturized. And by the way, I love this conditioner, you guys. This was my first time. Well, not in this video. But when I purchased the conditioner... And the hair gel, it was my first time purchasing the, that brand. And I was like, let me just try something new. No, they are not the same uh, scents or ingredients. I don't know. They're different scents. The gel, I don't really like how it smells. But I do like the hold of it. It's a very light gel, but it holds really well. And it doesn't create flaking in her hair. So I really like this gel for her. And the conditioner, I love, love, love that conditioner. It creates so much slip and it's easy to work with. And I feel like it lasts pretty good. But anyway, jumping back into it, as you've seen, I did a middle part straight down the middle. And what I'm going to do here is separate this section into two sections. So as of now, she has three parts in her head where she could have three ponytails. But it's not going to stay like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing that I'm doing to this side, to the opposite side. And at the end, she will end up with four sections like so. See? Perfectly neat four sections. And then I am going to proceed with the beautifully cute little hair design in the back for my baby girl. So this may look a little bit confusing when you just first look at the picture. By the way, that was just a little bit of gel that I will be putting at the base of each ponytail. But anyway, I was just going to say that this may look pretty confusing if you just stare at it. But you guys, it's really so simple. This little crisscross method or leotard method. I don't know what you want to call it. But it's super simple. You just start from the bottom like you see me doing and work our way up. So once we're done with this, we're going to just braid it down just a little bit, not all the way, um, because we're going to pull it up and connect it to the opposite side ponytail once we go up a little bit higher. So I'm just combing it out because I do want a smooth look. And when you comb it out, it just creates that more smooth look versus that really super curly kinky hair underneath. 
because she has a lot of curly hair. And I was just showing you a little bit of texture shot right there as in what her hair looked like. You see you guys? See what I just did? So this is really super simple, you guys. Don't be afraid of styles that may look complicated because underneath it all, most times they are pretty darn simple. And if you just stay tuned, you will completely understand it and get how I created the look that I have. Yes, I did get some hair inspo for this look. It's been all over YouTube, all over Instagram, or at least my feed. And um, I did see this in the back of several hairstyles, but a lot of people do the two buns, the space buns in the front at the top. And I kind of didn't want her with space buns. I wanted something that would last me and her lifestyle a little bit better for a few more extra days. So I went ahead and did just two ponytails with a braided look in the front, which you will see how i created that at the very ends but i did think this is so cute you guys everybody gets hair inspo from somewhere you just got to take it use it make it your own you can create it or you can like i said make it your own and change it up a little bit it just depends on how you feel and what you want so right here you see i just made i started the ponytail yes son huh rice you eat your rice okay go eat your rice Go eat your rice. Thank you. Sorry about that, you guys, but um, I just want to keep going. But anyway, as you can see, I started the ponytail off and then like putting the hair tie in and securing the ponytail before I was totally done securing it. I went ahead and connected that bottom piece to that top piece. And then I don't know if you caught it up in there. I probably was a major distraction a few seconds ago, and I do apologize for that. Um, but I did loosen it before I created that braid in the first one that I did, I pulled the braid out just a little bit and you probably see me do that here in just a second. See right there. I just pulled the braid down a little bit so that it won't be too much tension coming from the nape of her hairline into that ponytail that I just created. I don't want no tension like that. I don't want her hair pulling. I don't want my baby with the headache. So we just pull that braid out a little bit and make sure it's loose and not snagging and tugging too tight. You can make your parting as big or as small as you like. Um, I chose to make mine pretty big. So as you can see, this top one at the very top that I'm doing right now is pretty small, but I'm okay with that. That is just finishing it up. I wasn't really sure where I was going to go with the top part of her head. Um, I knew that I did not want to do the two buns, but I thought maybe I'd put it in one bun and just do that over every two days. And then I thought like, yeah, right, that's for the birds. Let me go ahead and do this a little bit more sturdy for myself. And I decided to keep it in the two ponytails in the front. But you can, like I was saying, you can go ahead and make these parts back here as big or as small as you like. And if you make the parts smaller, you know you'd end up with more crisscross effect. But yeah, it's all up to you. Get creative. You don't have to do exactly what you see on the screen. You can do exactly what you see on the screen. It's all up to you. But I did go ahead and braid those two braids all the way down to the end and secure them off with a rubber band. I am going to use them to wrap around her rubber band on the two ponytails that I'm about to create in the front. Just to give it a little bit of a cuter look. So that way I'm not stuck with just a rubber band there. And I don't want to add any barrettes or knocker balls to this hairstyle. I want to kind of keep it as natural as possible. So I'd rather use her hair, her braided hair to wrap around her ponytail at the top. And you'll see exactly what I mean in just a second. Hang tight.
Here you see me taking the small rubber band, I mean the small braid from the back and wrapping it around the rubber band like I promised. And then after I wrap that around that rubber band, I'm going to secure it down with another rubber band. Not to worry though, that was not in vain. I tried to do it up close so you can see it as good as possible. The rubber band that I put on top of the braid doesn't show all that much. So that ponytail is done, it is complete. We are gonna go ahead and pull a French braid down as a little bang piece and we're going to do the completely same thing on the opposite side so she'll have two two little braids and i decided to go ahead and add beads to the ends of her braids it's just three braids on each side so how i add my beads is i slip a bobby pin onto her hair um, at the very end like in the center so that I can fold the hair up on each sides of the bobby pin and then this pretty much works with all sides beads I haven't had a problem with this method yet with any size beads I just slip the bead on onto the bobby pin like you see me doing here and I push it up onto the hair when all the beads are up onto the hair and I can see the hair at the bottom I take the bobby pin off fold the hair over the bead and then secure the hair down with a rubber band and these secure the beads so that they don't go anywhere i have seen people do the foil method and to me that's just crazy because it totally comes off super fast so this is just an easier way and a more secure way in my opinion to keep the hairstyle that you worked so hard for to make it last especially look at my husband's face i just noticed his face why did he just sit there and look like that <laughs> anyway yes that you worked so hard for to last so i showed you again here the first one i did zoom in and tried to make it a little bit slower this second and third i just kind of left it in um a fast motion so you can just kind of see in a quick way how i did it exactly but yes y'all that's all there is to it so we are nearing the end of this video, but I want to give a quick shout out or recognition to Leisha Simmons. She watches my videos and I appreciate all the feedback that I get from her. She was one of the people that said she would definitely love to see my everyday hairstyle and looks. So she can look forward to that the week of August 6th. Without further ado, you guys have a blessed and wonderful week until next week and next time. Stay positive. Love you all. Bye. Bye.